hello gemini's and thank you guys so much for tuning back into my channel please keep in mind my readings are general may or may not resonate so take with us and leave the rest also please be sure to check your sun moon rising as well as your venus signs for more insight and don't forget to like share and subscribe so gemini's this is going to be a quickie but i do just want to give you guys some current energy let's see what's going on with you guys you know i love you and you guys need constant okay constant fucking advice so let's get it it says finances and career financial issues are a factor in your love life right now okay so money 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 overall okay and we have getting to know each other it says as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens okay and one more We have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What's at the bottom of the deck? Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Oh, boy. Okay, so Gemini's. Are we mixing and mingling with our exes? Hmm? Let's see. What's going on? Spirit, tell me what's going on with Gemini. I said I was going to use these cards no more. Spirit, should I? They're cold. Not, no. Okay, I'm not going to use these cards. Give me one second, you guys. I think I'm supposed to be using these. These have, like, just popped up in my energy. All right, so let's see. Gemini, what's going on with you? What is the message? I mean, for one, it's release your ex. But for two, you may be getting to know somebody and the bond may be deepening, but you cannot go back to your ex. I don't even feel like they're in your energy anymore. I mean, you physical energy, but mentally, you may still think about this person from time to time. What are the red flags here? Oh my God, I just want to... Okay, so I do want to clarify what the red flags is, but we're going to get back to that. All right, so first of all, Knight of Swords. Somebody is rushing back into you. You're rushing back into somebody. Or somebody is, is like coming. They're coming, all right? Oh, very nice too. Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups. This person is coming in to love bomb the fuck out of you, okay? Because I feel like you haven't been wondering about them. You haven't been worried about them. Not the pinnacles. You've been doing your own thing. Worried about yourself. This person is like, damn, okay, let me, let me stop with Gemini. All right, what's up with Gemini? Gemini been stressed the fuck out and sad about how the fuck you've been treating them, okay? That's what's up with Gemini, okay, cross watcher? Now, Gemini, this person must have did something because you ain't sad for nothing. Four cups, and you're getting a little bored. You're getting tired of this bullshit, okay? <laughs> That's the energy that I'm getting. You are fucking done. I'm tired, okay? I'm tired. Not done yet, but I'm tired. Spirit says you need to be done, but you're not. So let's see what's going on here. <laughs> King of Swords, okay, Hermit. So you've had time to think about this and you still have it come to some type of decision. It's like, I don't know what to do. Yeah, Will of Fortune and Six of Wands. I feel like something, this person is coming back around to give you some type of attention. Your guard may be up a little bit. Yeah, King of Cups and the Ace of Wands. Ooh, but they serious. This person is serious. Whoever this is that's coming back around towards you, they're dead serious. Yeah, Page of Wands about starting something new with you. Seven of Cups, this person may have left you confused in the past. Yeah, because they may have just ghosted you or this is somebody who uh, may have cheated on you and made you feel alone and fucked up. Um, yeah, I feel like you've been trying to hold back from this energy, but you love them too. Oh, they're passionate. You love you. Your love languages are different, but they come together perfectly. Two of Cups. This person is very passionate about you and you love them. You love me, you complete me, you hold my heart and you're here with the lovers under that. This is beautiful. It don't matter what the fuck you and this person are going through or have went through. There is a, a sweetness and a passionate connection between you two. And it is to be explored. It is okay um if this person comes back around i would highly recommend that we're not regardless of whatever that happened as long as this person ain't beat your ass you give them a chance okay because this energy is, is beautiful N let me explain something too again like i told sagittarius no relationship is perfect 
okay? If you think that you're going to meet somebody and you guys are going to fall in love like the fucking movies and he going to put his coat down so y'all can walk over fucking puddles and then he's going to pick his coat up and wring it out and walk with it while he holds your hand. That's not going to fucking happen, okay? I mean, it could happen, but, you know, probably not, okay? And you have to learn to be fine with that. The real life people have issues, you have issues this person has issues however the possibility between you two being successful is infinite i'm serious um i do feel like you guys will get to know each other a lot more i do not feel like this connection is over i do feel like somebody needs to get over their ex okay it could be you could be them i don't even think this person is really talking to their ex this person is passionate about you but they're still, you know, wondering what's up with this past person, okay? Alright, so, let's look a little deeper. Let's see how this person feels about you. How does this person feel about Gemini? And what, how do they plan on moving towards Gemini? What are their actions? Okay, the Will of Fortune. They feel like this is the time. Whatever the fuck y'all went through, they, they feel like it's time to come back together. Six of Cups, yep. And they're coming, Knight of Swords. I told you, they hauling ass in here. You will be hearing from this person if you haven't already. Let's see. What are their, uh, how do they feel? The Hierophant, they want to commit. This person loves you. Oh my God, Ace of Cups. They, they, I mean, Queen of Cups. You guys are going to be like smitten with each other, at least at first. <clears throat> this is, this is, you know, real cutesy text messages, laughing, giggling, flirting with each other. Happiness. The sun card. Aw. Two of Wands, though. There is a decision that needs to be made about maybe an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This could be from you or them. This may be them because I'm reading how they feel. I feel like things have come to an ending or things are getting to an ending. Yep, death card. Things are coming to an ending between them and someone else. I feel like they're letting that shit go because you are <laughs> something else to them, Gemini. I'm telling you. All right. So let's see. Is there anything else you want to tell me how this person feels about Gemini? Anything else? Anything else? Okay. King of Cups. Now, okay, so this is the both of y'all. <laughs> They're holding back their emotions and your guard is up. How the fuck is that going to work out? Mm -hmm. I'm listening. Eight of Wands. So y'all are talking, but y'all are not really being honest with each other. This is surface. I told you, some of y'all are flirting. Y'all are being really flirty right now. Really flirty with each other. But behind this flirtiness is really genuine feelings. You may be flirting and really feel it. Like, you know, Gemini's flirt a lot and won't be giving a fuck about the person. You flirting with this motherfucker and you're intending on making this person feel something. And they're feeling it, okay? Look at this motherfucker all goofy and shit. <laughs> <laughs> like they're happy as shit and you over here like yeah i know you like it mm -hmm. take some of this wood in this cup like <laughs> y'all funny as hell oh my god okay so let's see what the possible outcome is for you and this person what is the outcome spirit please tell me what is the outcome for this person in gemini what is the outcome for this person in gemini spirit what is the outcome for this person in Gemini? <sighs> Success. This is the Six of Wands, you guys. Wow. So you're going to get what you want from this person. I promise you, you will. The Sun card. Happiness. Wow. Gemini, this is a really good fucking reading. This is your fucking outcome. Too many. Give me one. One more, spirit. One more for the outcome. One more for the outcome, spirit. The death card. This person's going to change for you. Oh, my God. Six of Wands, the sun, and the death card, the rebirth. It's, there's a change coming. You're going to change this. Whatever it is that's going on or whatever this person did to you, whatever happened in the past, they're changing. Why is the death card here? I just want to... Because they, there's hope here. They want you, Gemini. Oh, my God. I claim this spirit. 
I claim it. I claim it too. I want this too. This is a good ass reading, okay? Let's get uh, some advice for Gemini. Advice for Gemini. King of Pentacles. Okay, Seven of Swords. And the Emperor. Hmm. King of Pentacles. Daddy. Lion. To control the situation. The Moon card. Two of Cups. Three of Cups. Ten of Wands. The Tower. High Priestess in Reverse. Be careful with this person and their ex. Okay. I feel like they need to release them. They may not have. Um, there's an the energy of somebody coming back around. Now, this could be on your end or their end. Someone coming back around and this person trying to juggle the both of you or not wanting to tell the other one about the other one. Um, being malicious by, while still trying to hold on to the connection. Oh, boy. I'm telling you. You just can't have one without the other. <laughs> Okay, so let's get one card for the Rebel deck. Make better fucking choices. It says, if you're pissed about where you're at, stop taking yourself the fuck there. The fuck? Okay, thank you. 